Now, if you don't have a gonioscope, you can still get an estimation of the angle just to get an idea about the depth of the angle. If you get the appearance of the peripheral part of the angle with the slit lamp, if you go to the periphery and the angle and make a section and compare the thickness of the cornea and the depth of the anterior chamber in the most peripheral part. Here in this video, if you go very peripheral, the distance is quite short compared to the thickness of the cornea. So most probably you are dealing with a narrow angle. This is the Van Herrick technique to compare the depth of the AC with that of the cornea. And he got this classification If it's the same or higher than the thickness of the cornea, this is most probably the degrees of the angle. If it's between half and one quarter, if it's less than one quarter, if it's less than the quarter, and if it's slit. What's more interesting is, this is the way it works. The light examination, the source of light is 90 degrees from the cornea. The observer is 60 degrees from the source of light. Then he get this section. He can compare section in the cornea with the depth of the AC. Recently, you get this terminology, LCD measurement, Lembel chamber depth, just adding more terminology. So, the, the point is, if you get an angle, the depth here is one quarter or less, it's an occludable angle and you need to do gonioscopy. If it's more than that, you are safe. There was two studies checking the one quarter depth. It was very sensitive and could diagnose narrow angle in 99% of the cases and in 80-80% of the cases in the second study. But they included normal angles, 66% of the normal and 17% of the normal. So it's very sensitive but not that specific. Like an, it's a simple way to check. Keep in mind that the surface of the iris is not flat all over. Some areas are more elevated than the other. So you make your comment on the narrowest part of this angle. If it's narrow, then you have to put a gonioscope and check with the gonioscope lens.